Okay, so you've clicked on this video because you want to become the best hacker in the world and you want to be like anonymous, you want to hack NASA, uh, NSA, NCA, whoever you want to hack. Absolutely understandable, I'm going to take you from A to Z to Z to B, Z, B, A, whatever letter you want to. I'm going to take you through all of that within a blink of an eye, my friend, right? So the first thing you need to do is get yourself VMware. You should already have VM VMware. You can install this on your laptop as your main operating system, however, I do not recommend that. The reason? You should install it first on a virtual machine, see if you like it, and then install it on a Rufus, and then install it on your image. Image it and install it on your laptop if you want to. I can show you how to do that in the next video, but for this video, let's focus how to install it on your virtual machine first. Right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go to downloads, and you're going to click in the description below, there will be a link, which is going to be blackarc.org, or just type in blackarc.org, right? You're going to go to downloads right here, downloads, and you're going to go to ISO. And this is important. It actually tells you a warning right here. Do not download the full ISO. You don't need the full ISO. Just download the slim one, right? You don't need that many tools. You just download the slim one. Slim one is absolutely brilliant to use to get started with. You can always install the extra tools or you can always upgrade to the full version inside Black Arc, just like Kali. So just download it, save it somewhere, save it in your computer, and let's install it and let's get it running. Two thousand years later. Okay, so once you've got it installed, all you need to do is just create a new virtual machine, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So create a new virtual machine, drag the window here, installer, and select the disk image. Once you've selected the disk, disk image, next, Linux, Ubuntu 64, Next, and what you do is you need to give this a name. So let's give this a name. What should we call it? Let's call it Anonymous. Why not? Select the path. Make sure you select this somewhere because by default, the path is going to be somewhere in documents or wherever, God knows where. We're going to install it wherever we want. So select wherever you want it and click Next. Store virtual disk as a single file. And select it, I would recommend something at least 80 to 100 gigs. It's not going to restrict it, but it's just going to basically allow virtual machine to take that much storage. And especially if you want to download any word lists, any big, big files, it is important that you give that extra storage, right? So give it extra storage, click next and finish. Okay, so now you should already have your virtual machine. You should already have a virtual machine to run. Click on it. You can rename it, it's going to be Ubuntu. You play Virtual Machine, play it, and what you're going to get is a basically BIOS. Click on the first thing, click enter, and it'll take a second to run. As you can see, it's running right now. And you should get a screen with basically asking to log in. As you can see, just like this. Now, what we're going to do is click other. We're going to type in root and black arc. Wham, bam, bam. Absolutely done and easy. It is faster than Kali and I guess some other operating systems, which is actually a surprise. Right? So as you can see, this is like, it's like Linux, right? It is like Ubuntu or Kali. You have all the tools in the world, what you can do is use the terminal emulator, what you can use for example is, let's check what ports we have open. sudo nmap sv localhost. We actually don't have to use sudo, but I like to use sudo for just so it doesn't ask for permissions. And as you can see, there's no ports open. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to learn hacking the best way and the fastest way, make sure to check out my Udemy course, which will be in the description below. If you have any problems, make sure to contact me on Twitter. I will try and answer as, as fast as possible. And don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, leave a like, share with friends. And thank you for watching. Love you. See you later.